Ruby Sparks, 26 years old, raised in Dayton, Ohio. Why Dayton? Sounds romantic. After a long bout of writer's block, Calvin, a novelist, creates a new character, Ruby. He writes incessantly about her and falls in love. I'm glad you found something that inspires you. Inspires me. It's like I'm falling in love with her. That's wonderful. I can't fall in love with the girl I write. Why not? Because she's not real. Or is she? I missed you in bed last night. Did you get some good writing done? Calvin is terrified. He calls his brother Harry for help. Harry believes Calvin has an overactive imagination until he meets Ruby. But he believes Ruby is an imposter. Have you tried writing more? Write something about her and see if it comes true. Calvin writes that Ruby speaks French. And lo and behold... Although the film starts out as a romantic comedy, it becomes darker as it addresses issues of control. Mary, this is insane! You manifested a woman with your mind! Okay, um, so you can, like, change her. Like, I guess. But Calvin's creation has her own personality. The movie addresses the philosophical aspects of love, loneliness, and the line between the real and the imaginary. Ultimately, Calvin has to relinquish control of his beloved, no matter her origin. You're just going to pretend she's your girlfriend? She is my girlfriend. Stranger things have happened. I don't think so. The story also questions whether creative genius can be beckoned. Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Ferris directed Ruby Sparks. They say, thanks to the script's intelligent dialogue and twists, this romantic comedy deviates from Hollywood's formulaic love stories. There's a lot of them out there, and at a certain point, they can be pretty tired, and this was a very different kind of I don't really comedy. think of it as a romantic comedy. You know, I, I think there are funny elements. This is m a little more dramatic in my mind. Like the directors, the lead actors didn't want Hollywood to produce the film, so they produced it themselves with the help of Fox Searchlight Pictures, a smaller enterprise. Zoe Kazan, the granddaughter of famous director Elias Kazan, wrote the script and plays Ruby. She says it's not easy to make films outside Hollywood's studio system. It's a really strange time for independent film right now. Uh, movies are getting made at a very, very tiny budget, or not at all, basically. And um, especially without movie stars in the lead roles. She says her family credentials didn't help. Sometimes I wish it was more of an advantage because um, it's a really hard business and you do, uh, you know, need people to, you need a break, basically. Paul Dano plays Calvin. He explains how the project got started. Zoe and I have been dating for about five years. So she started writing it in our apartment. Um, and about ten pages into her writing it, I said we should send this to Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Ferris. Uh, and she was like, yes. Uh, so, Ruby, did you go to art school? No, I didn't train informally. I just sort of picked things up here and there. This was a labor of love for us, and, you know, hopefully it shows up on the screen. Ruby Sparks is an intelligent story, as breezy as it's heartbreaking. Its superb cast makes it one of the season's best. I know Ruby. I wrote her. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.